Hello, hello. Namaste and peace and blessings. We're going to wait around about another minute to see who else joins us here today. I expect we use this time to gather any supplies we feel we may need today in our session. Maybe light a candle, start your diffuser, grab a blanket, whatever we feel we may need to help us relax and soothe. May we use this time together. And once we find our supplies, may we find our bodies in a comfortable seat of holes. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find that seat. I am going to come into a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help ground and center our mind and our bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight, squeezing in at our navel, at our belly button. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. Spinal cord is nice and long. As we take a nice deep intentional breath in, hold a breath, exhale. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, pulling our thumbs inward towards our sternum, the center of our chest, gazing our eyes downward towards the earth, or closing our eyes if that feels good for us as we relax four breaths, silent meditation. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Interlacing our hands together, point of fingers pointing up towards the heavens as we allow our shoulder blades to flow upwards towards our ears, allowing our spinal cord to get nice and elongated here. Tummies nice and tight at our navel as our arms flow slightly towards the back. Heart chakra comes open, chin is slightly up. Feeling this slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, breathing our palms down the prayer. Blowing our palms out towards the side, flowing back up to our salute. Chin is up. Exhale the prayer. Blowing the palms to the side, breathing them up to our salute. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Breathe in. Exhale. As we slowly bring our palms apart, we're gonna come into that seated extended mountain, meaning our palms are separated, arms are up towards the heavens. Heart chakras opened, chin is up. As we are channeling in hope, positivity, and inspiration into our lives. As we are welcoming in in our channeling position, anything that is needed and wanted to help take us to new levels in our lives. May we welcome in anything positive, anything good, Two breaths. Breathing our palms slightly further apart, coming into that seated star. Palms are off towards the side. Heart chakras open, fill in this pose. Two breaths. Twisting our body towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth. As we gaze over our right shoulder, we are in that seated twist. Allowing this twist to relax and soothe the spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing into that seated star. Twisting the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder, soothing that spine. Three breaths. Two more breaths. 
exhaling back to center, coming into that star as we flow to our salute. Breathing down to prayer. Rest in those palms at heart center. Relaxing those shoulders down and away from the ears. Two breaths. Mm. As we flow our bodies into a bound position, connecting our feet together, we are going to come into a diamond or a butterfly. In our butterfly, our feet are closer to us. This is a nice deep hip opener. In our diamond, our feet are a little further away from us. So doing what pose that feels best for you as we connect our hands to our feet. And if we choose, maybe slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that hinge position. Torso comes downward towards the feet, maybe allowing that head to relax downward towards the feet. Shoulders melt forward as we take nice subtle breaths here. Noticing that when we hinge forward, we go deeper into those hip flexors. So only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to do. Listening to your body. Coming out whenever you need. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Using our hands to push our bodies up, coming back to that bound position, either our diamond or our butterfly. As our heart chakra comes open, chin is up. Allowing the head to relax between your shoulder blades. We are in our seated cow. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into our cat. Chin comes towards our clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Cat pulls. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center as we use our hands to bring our knees inward and we're going to straighten our legs out flowing into a staff pose. Our legs are parallel side by side. Backs are nice and elongated here. Shoulders relaxed down with away from the ears. Tummies are nice and tight at our navel. Noticing how the staff feels within the body. As we breathe our palms above our heads flowing into that salute. Chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale to prayer. As we hinge at the hips, comes at heart center, coming into that seated half, forward fold. Gazing forward, eyes are gazed downward towards the earth or closed. Four breaths. Two more breaths. We can hang out here in this pose or we can come down to a seated forward fold, allowing that torso to come closer towards the thighs, reaching our hands downward towards our ankles or the lower parts of our feet, allowing that head to relax downward towards our knee, towards our knees. We are in our seated forward fold. This is a full body stretch as we take subtle breaths, allowing the body to relax and soothe. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward. As we flow back up to our staff pose, relaxing the body, shoulders are straight. Shoulders are melted down, we're away from the ears, shall I say. Our backs are straight. We're gonna take our right knee, lifting our right foot up, lifting that right knee up in the air. Right foot is flat on the earth. We're gonna work on our Sage Marici here. Taking that right arm, lifting it up in the air, leaning that body towards the left, leaning forward, lowering that arm as we wrap this right arm around our knee. We are in our stage when we cheat it. And we can option if we choose to bend that left leg inward here in that stage, Marici, if that feels good for you. We can also keep it straight. Another option we can do is take this left hand and wrap it around our bags and interlacing our right and left fingertips. With our heart chakra open and our chin up, we are in our Sage Marici one. Two more breaths. 
holding this pose, we're gonna hinge at the hips, allowing the torso to come between, allowing the torso to come close to the thighs, allowing the head to relax downward towards the knee, finding our bodies in the Sage Marici two. Gazing the eyes down or closing them. Two breaths. <clears throat> Exhaling back up to Sage Marici one, uninterlacing those fingertips. We're gonna unwrap that leg, flowing back into our staff pose. Heart chakras open, chin is up, shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears as we breathe our palms above our heads in that salute. Exhale to prayer. As we Sage Marici opposite side, taking that left leg, left knee is in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. Bodies are nice and comfy. Taking that left arm, lifting it up in the air, leaning the body towards the right, leaning forward, lowering that left arm down a little as we wrap this left arm around that left knee. We are in our stage, Mariti. Keeping in mind that we can bend that knee inward if we choose. We also can wrap this right arm around our backs, interlacing our left and right fingertips. With our heart chakra open and our chin up, we are, we are in our stage, Mariti one here. Two more breaths. Straightening out that leg, if you choose, as we flow into our Sage Marici two, lowering that torso towards the thighs, allowing the head to relax downward towards the knee. Gaze in the eyes down or closing them. Two more breaths. Opening up their heart chakra, lifting up that head. We are back in that Sage Marici one. As we slowly uninterlace those fingers, we're going to unwrap that leg, lower back into our staff pose. Heart chakras open, shoulders relaxed, spinal cord is nice and long here. As we breathe our arms up to our salute. Exhale to our prayer. Now, in our, in our staff pose, we're going to use we're gonna take our feet and we're gonna point our toes downward towards the earth. A lot of times we keep our feet pointed upwards and that's okay. But we're gonna try something different here and notice how this feels in our body when we point our toes downward towards the earth. This is a plantar flex. Also like to call this ballerina's foot. Also, if we, if we ever have flat feet or know someone who has flat feet, just positioning our toes in that plantar flex creates that arch at the bottom of the foot. See that there? and it helps with flat feet. So we're gonna hold this pose in our staff position with three more breaths. <sighs> Two breaths. As we breathe our knees in, we're gonna flow into a tabletop pose. Coming onto our hands and our knees, our knees are hip distance apart here. As we drop the body down to our cow, tummies come downward towards the earth, elbows are straight, head relaxes between our shoulder blades. This cow pose, you can feel it in your lumbar back. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into our cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord flows upwards towards the heavens. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to cow. Low into cat. Coming back to table. As we take our right arm, we're gonna breathe that right arm up in the air. Feeling that stretch, gazing up at our right fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle. Right arm threads through the left heart chakra, comes downward towards the earth. <sighs> Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. So take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And if we choose, we can wrap this arm around our backs here and our thread the needle. Or we can extend that arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. 
five breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, if it was wrapped, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table, dropping down to the side. Exhale to cat. Plumb back to our table. As we breathe, that left arm up in the air, fingertips reaches the heavens. Gazing up at our fingertips, breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm thread through the right. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth as we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward into the earth with our eyes gazed down and closed. Noticing how this feels. And if we choose, we can take this right arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, whatever you choose, thread the needle. Four breaths. Thread the needle, five breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Now we're back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet, Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. Mm. As we walk our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. We're gonna find our pause as we breathe our right foot to our right hand, coming into that runner's lunge. <sighs> Hanging out here in this lunge for a couple breaths, noticing how this feels in our body. As we drop down to our knee, flow into a low lunge. As we lift our torso slightly away from our thighs, and if we choose, we can breathe our arms above our head, interlacing our palms together. Heart chakras open, allowing the arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling forward, framing that front foot. Coming off that knee, we are back in that one lunge. As we straighten that front leg, coming into that pyramid. Front knee is straightened, torso relaxes over that thigh as our head relaxes downward towards that knee. Pyramid, feeling it stretch. <sighs> Allowing that head to relax downward. Allowing the shoulder blades to relax down. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Bending our knees, coming back to that front flow. Coming down here for As we flow to our back, gazing at our feet. Mm. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet. As we find pause, we're going to breathe that left foot to that left hand. Run us lunge opposite side. Holding this pose here for a couple breaths. Noticing how this feels. And if we choose, we can drop our knee coming down to that low lunge. Lifting our torso slightly away from that thigh, breathing our legs, breathing our arms up in the air, interlacing our palms together if we choose. Heart chakras open, arms flow slightly towards the back of the room. Three breaths. Two breaths. 
Exhale, breathing forward, framing that front foot, taking that knee off the earth. We are back in that runner's lunge. Exhale into our pyramid, straightening that front leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh, allowing that head to relax downward. Shoulder blades melts forward. We're gonna hold this pose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Bending that front knee, coming back to that runner's lunge. Exhaling, down dog. Walking our dog, head on our feet. Finding our pose as we walk our hands. Finding our pose as we walk our feet towards our hands. We are in that complete forward fold. Allowing that torso to relax down, head relaxes downward towards the earth, filling this full body stretch. Maybe taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half forward. Slightly gazing forward. Breathing back down to that complete forward fold. Mm. Exhale into half. Flowing up to our mountain pose, our Tadasana. Palms are at our side. Our feet are rooted to the earth. Palms are off towards the side. Maybe our palms are facing forward. Spinal cord is nice and long. Tummy's nice and tight at our navel. Shoulders relax downward away from our ears as we are standing strong. We are standing tall. We are standing strong. We are standing firm. We are nice and tall. Here. Holding our place, knowing our place. As we are grounding, as we are rooting. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into a standing salute. Palms above the head, interlacing the palms together. Point of finger pointing up towards the heavens. Front chakras open as we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. Chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. We're gonna uninterlace those fingers. We're gonna breathe our palms apart, coming into that extended mountain. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. In our standing salute, our palms are together. So flowing from that salute, coming to that extended mountain, separating those palms. As we lean our bodies towards the right, we are in our standing side bend. Slightly gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center. Standing side bend, opposite side, body leans to the left. Gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing into that standing salute. Breathing those palms together. Breathe in. Exhale the standing prayer. Lowering those palms at heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward. Away from the ears. Feeling true to ourselves. Feeling strong, feeling powerful. As we hang out here, three breaths, silent meditation. Two more breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Exhaling down to a complete forward fold. You'll be walking our feet slightly apart 
as we flow into a rag dial, connecting our hands to our elbows, allowing that head to relax. Four breaths. And if we choose, we can sway our bodies, rocking our body from side to side in our rag dial if we choose. Three more breaths. Finding our pause at center, we're gonna flow to a half forward fold. Exhaling up to our Tadasana. Exhaling up to our mountain pose. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into that salute. Exhale to prayer. Flow into our half forward fold. Down to complete forward. Walking our hands forward, coming into that damn dog. Gazing at the feet. Finding our pulse, shifting that weight forward, coming into that high plank. Relaxing and soothing here. Building strength. Flowing down to a low plank if that feels best for you. Four breaths. Tummies are tight. Two more breaths. Exhaling down to low plank if it wasn't already there or chaturanga. Flowing down to our tummies. Coming into a Sphinx pose. Relaxing those shoulders away from the ears. This here is a slight back bend. Chin is slightly up as we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Three more breaths. As we flow into a baby cobra, bringing our palms towards our torso, palms are flat on the earth, elbows slightly bent as we push our torso away from the earth, we are in that baby cobra. Exhale into our cobra, straightening out those elbows even more. Torso comes further away from the earth, cobra. Exhale into up dog, taking those thighs off the earth. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Three breaths. Exhaling down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog as we find our pause. And we're going to breathe our right foot towards our right hand, coming back to that runner's lunge. Just for a second as we flow our bodies up to our warrior two. <sighs> Feeling our bodies relaxing here in warrior two. Feeling nice and strong. We're going to hold this pose. Three more breaths. <sighs> two breaths. Exhale into reverse warrior. Feeling that stretch. Breathing to our side angle or our extended side angle, breathing that arm up in the air. <sighs> Two more breaths. We're gonna hang out here in this side angle. And if we're able, we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna lower this right arm that's crossing over our leg down towards our feet. As we gaze up at our left fingertips or gazing forward, we are still in our side angle. This is just a different side angle. Got to love variations. Two more breaths, filling a stretch. Exhaling back up to that side angle, crossing that arm over that thigh. We are in that extended side angle or our side angle. <sighs> Exhaling back to warrior two. Going to reverse warrior. Exhaling back to side angle. Twisting our bodies forward, framing that front foot, runner's lunge. Exhale into pyramid, straightening that front leg, allowing that torso to relax over that thigh. Head melts downward towards the knee. Three breaths. This is a full body stretch, but we're also going to hang out here to relax and soothe. 
Two more breaths. Bending that front knee, coming to that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking that dog. Finding pause as we breathe our left foot towards our left hand. Runner's lunge, opposite side. As we breathe our bottoms up to our warrior two. We're gonna hold this pose for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling to reverse warrior. Two more breaths. Exhale into side angle or extended side angle if that feels good for you. Right arms up in the air, left arms crossed over that thigh. <sighs> Two more breaths here. Holding this pose, we're gonna flow into a, another extended side angle. Taking this left hand downward towards the feet, right arm is up towards the heavens. And we can gaze whatever feels comfortable for us. Some people like to gaze upwards. Some people like to gaze down or in front of them. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to that side angle, crossing that left arm over that thigh. Arms in the air. As we float to our side angle, lowering that arm. Relax your body. Exhaling to warrior two. Two more breaths. Breathe, reverse warrior. Exhale and back to side angle. As we twist that body forward, flowing into that pyramid, straightening out that front leg, allowing that torso to relax over that thigh, head, re head relaxes downward towards the knees. This is a full body stretch, but it's also a relaxing and soothing pose. As our heart chakra connects to our thigh, it helps relax and regulate our heartbeat. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling to run his lunge, bending that front knee. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. Exhale, half forward fold. As we breathe to our mountain, our Tadasana, palms are at our side. Exhale to our extended mountain, palms above the head. Breathing to our standing prayer, palms at heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. As we hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold. Bending our knees, coming into a chair pose, working the lower parts of our bodies here. Palms are at heart center, or we can extend our arms in front of us. Chair pose, extended chair pose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Building strength, keep on flowing here. Exhaling our palms at heart center. Twisting our bodies towards the right, chair pose twist. Three breaths. Exhale into center. Chair pose twist, opposite side. Exhale and back to center, two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, relax in the body, four breaths. <sighs> Flow into a half forward fold. Breathing, complete forward fold. Exhale a half. Flowing back down to our complete forward. Two more breaths. 
Walking our hands forward, coming into that down dog, gazing at our feet. As we breathe our right foot towards our right hand, we are back in that runner's lunge. As we walk this right hand inside of our thigh, we're gonna work on our lizard pose here. As we lower our knee downward towards the earth, if that feels good, or we can keep our knee up as we come on down to our forearms. We also can use a yoga block in front of us for our forearms and our lizard. Or we can be closer to the earth here in our lizard. This is a nice deep stretch here. You'll feel it in your hips. This pose prepares the body for a split. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Using our hands to push our bodies up out of our lizard. And we're gonna twist our bodies towards our thigh. Right arm goes up in the air. We are now in our revolved twist. Gazing up at our fingertips if that feels good. We're gonna hold this pose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Twisting the body forward. Both palms are flat on the earth. As we twist our bodies towards the left, left arm goes up in the air. Low lunge, twist, gazing at our left fingertips or gazing forward, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, both palms are flat on the earth. I just wanna point out when we twist our bodies towards our thigh and breathe that warm up, it's called a revolved twist because our body is twisted towards our leg. When we twist our bodies towards the left, it's called a twist. That's the difference between the two. Exhale into down dog. As we walk our dog, finding pause, we're gonna keep on flowing here. Breathing our left foot towards our left hand, runners lunge opposite side. As we breathe that left arm inside of that thigh. Yes, now we're gonna drop down to our knee, if we choose, or we can keep that knee up. As we flow down to our lizard, coming on down to our forearms on the yoga mat or using that block in front of us. Notice that, noticing that we can have our knee on the earth in that lizard or we can have that knee off the earth. We can be on a yoga block or we can be off, off the yoga block. Four breaths. Prepping our body for split. Two more breaths. Using our hands to push our bodies up. <sighs> As we twist our bodies towards our left leg, left arm goes up in the air, gazing at the fingertips. We are in that revolved twist. And we can gaze up at the fingertips or we can gaze forward, whatever feels best for you. Three breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhale, breathing both palms to the earth, twisting our bodies towards the right. Right one goes up towards the heavens. We are in our twist pose. No lunge, twist. Gazing up at the fingers, gazing forward. Three breaths. <sighs> Two breaths. Exhale forward, both palms are flat on the earth. As we flow to our down dog. Dropping down to our forearms, coming into a pyramid. Relaxing here on our forearms. Head relaxes, head relaxes down. As we are gazed back at our feet, buttocks is nice and high in the air. As we hang out here in our dolphin pose, this pose prepares our body for headstand. We can walk our feet closer towards our torso if that feels good for you, noticing how our buttocks comes higher in the air. We also can pulse our bodies on our tippy toes if that feels good. These are just options. Pulsing on the tippy toes looks like this. See how we are pulsing up and down? 
Noticing how we are pulsing up and down, that's preparing our body for headstand. That's why dolphin pose is a nice headstand prep pose. So we're gonna hang out here, doing whatever feels good for you and your dolphin for four more breaths. Dropping down to our knees as we flow into a wide-legged child's pose, allowing the torso to relax between the thighs. <sighs> Heart chakra connects to the earth. Third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth. With our arms extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth, we are in our extended wide-legged child's pose. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward here. Five breaths. Breathing our palms together above our head as we flow into a prayer hands, child's pose. Three more breaths. I don't know about you, but I feel nice and relaxed here. We're going to do a bonus of three more breaths. Child's pose. With our arms extended in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. May we spinal wave our bodies out of our, child, out of our child's pose. Noticing how this spinal wave relaxes and soothes that spine. Adding your head, your neck into the mix. Allowing that body to soothe throughout that spine. Four breaths. Going as fast or as slow as you choose. Two more breaths. As we find our pause here, we're going to come to our tabletop as we drop down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we cross our feet at our angles. We're going to come into a seated pose just for a second as we flow on to our backs, coming into a reclined position, hugging our knees into our chest. Yeah, we're going to relax and soothe here, bringing those knees inward. Oh. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt back into the earth. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes as we hug our knees into our chest, showing ourselves a little self-care, self-love, going inward. Being kind and loving to oneself. Taking natural breaths here. As we extend those legs up in here, coming into a leg on the wall pose, or in our case, maybe it's an invisible wall. Using this position to relax and soothe as we point our toes upwards towards the heavens. We are back in that plantar flex. Flexing those toes upwards, coming into that ballerina's foot. Feeling that stretch. As we breathe our hands downward to the lower parts of our legs, we're going to bring our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. This is a full body stretch. Legs to torso stretch. Three breaths. Exhaling those legs back up in the air, legs on the wall. As we breathe to our happy baby, breathing those knees inward towards the chest, feet is up in the air, palms come between the thighs, come out towards the sides, connecting the hands to the feet, happy baby. This is a hip opener as well. As we are connecting our hands to our feet, maybe we can squeeze our feet 
applying the pressure to parts of our feet that feel as though it's needed. Maybe our toes, maybe the ball of our foot, maybe the front of our feet. Wherever you choose, we're just showing our feet a little love. As we know, our feet carries us everywhere we need to go. <laughs> and we can also option to rock our body from side to side. Using the earth to relax and soothe our spinal cord. Mm. Or we can stay still and just hang out in our happy baby and just enjoy the pose. Whatever you decide, we're going to freestyle here. Five natural breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we extend our legs back up in the air, legs on the wall, reaching down, breathing our legs towards our torso, leg to torso stretch. Exhale back up to legs on the wall, breathing our knees inward, allowing our feet to connect to the earth as our knees are in the air. And we're going to work on a bridge pose here. Palms are on the earth at our buttocks. Feet off flat on the earth. As we lift our buttocks off the earth, as we lift our buttocks off the earth, we are in that bridge pose. Notice how this works. Our knee is maximum here, our buttocks. Rounding and lifting our butt here. And if we want to go deeper, we can take our hands underneath our buttocks and interlace them and walk our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. Noticing how our torso and our hips come higher in the air. We are now in our nice deep, our nice high bridge as we are squeezing that gluteus maximus up, working on rounding and lifting that butt out here. So we can pulse it up and down as we choose, or we can just hold it still and steady. Or we can do a mixture of the two, holding it still and steady, and then pulsing. Whatever you choose, we're gonna bridge pose, freestyle, but eight, yes, that's right, eight natural breasts, working our buns of steel. Six more breaths. Four breaths. Feeling the body get nice and warm. We got this. We want to do this. However, if we feel as though we need to come out of this pose and relax our body, feel free to do so. Listening to your body. My voice is just a guide. Three more breaths. Maybe we can pulse it up and down, feeling that burn. As we hold the pulse up nice and high, nice and tight, squeezing that gluteus maximus. Squeeze, 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 buns of still. Three more breaths, holding that pose, squeezing it tight. Two breaths, one breath. Exhale down, underlacing those fingers. Breathing the knees towards the chest, hugging. The knees into the chest, lifting those legs up in the air, legs on the wall, breathing those legs towards the torso, but I come slightly off the earth. Exhale back up to legs on the wall, breathing our knees into our chest, crossing our feet at our ankles, tummies nice and tight. We're going to do a tummy crunch here. We're going to lift that body up. Yes, feeling that tummy burn, lifting that body up, feet is off the earth. We're going to hold this pose here. Like we're squeezing in, but we're going to hold this pose. Working those obliques. Working those abdominal muscles. Holding this pose. Tummy's tight. Backs are nice and straight here. Four breaths. Mm. Our bodies are nice and warm here. Two more breaths. We got this. As we flow into our boat pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Or legs are up. Or legs are up here in our boat. So parallel, or legs are up. 
Whatever you choose, we're going to continue to work our abdominal muscles here, our core. Five breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our palms in, we're going to pound our hands from side to side. Going a little bit more deeper into those obliques. Two more breaths. Finding that pause. Breathing our knees in towards our chest. Connecting our hands to our feet. As we play around with our hands and our feet, just lifting our feet up and down. Tummies tight, backs are nice and straight. Just having a little fun here. Three more breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna take our left leg and breathe our left leg out towards the side. Feeling that stretch behind our legs and our hamstring. <sighs> Backs are nice and straight. <sighs> Two more breaths. Breathing that leg in, straightening out that right leg towards the side. Feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling the leg back in, breathing out that left leg. As we breathe out the right leg, now we are in that full bow pose variation. Our legs look like a V. As we widen that V if we choose, allowing those legs to come nice and widened here. Feeling that stretch. Or we can breathe our legs inward. Keeping the tummy, the core tight, the spinal cord nice and long. So whatever feels good for you here, we can breathe our legs inward, or we can breathe our legs apart and feel that wild leg stretch. Whatever you choose, five more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling those knees inward as we flow to our bow position, either our diamond or our butterfly. Heart chakra is open, chin is up, spinal cords nice and long, shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears as we allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades. We are in our seated cow, two breaths. Exhaling to cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Exhaling back to our bow position, using our hands to bring our knees inwards as we flow onto our backs. Hugging our knees into our chest, relaxing and soothing the body here as we are channeling down. Relaxing our feet, flowing into a Shavasana, bringing our legs parallel side by side allowing the sides of our feet to connect they are touching as we allow our feet to fall to the side completely relaxing our thighs here noticing how this feels in the body relaxing easing soothing checking in with self as we allow our hands to relax whatever feels comfortable for us in our bodies listening to what is needed right here, right now. Focusing. Allowing that body to simply just be where it is, where we are. Being aware of where we are, how we feel at this very moment. Without judgment, simply noticing. Allowing Shavasana, rest pose, to take us away to where we need to go. As we gaze our eyes downward or we'll close our eyes, may we relax and go inward in silent meditation for eight natural breaths.
Maybe flow into a reclined spinal twist, left and right side, if you feel as though your spinal cord needs a little bit more decompressing and relaxing. Four more breaths. Four more breaths. As we roll onto our side of the pose, keeping our eyes gazing on the floor, the hips are We're going to hang on here in the speed Four breaths. As we use our tap here to push our body up from out of this eagle pose. We're going to cross our feet coming into a cow face, if that's an option. Or we can come into an easy seat, lotus, half lotus, whatever feels good for you. I'm bringing my legs into a cow face legs. We're not going to do the cow face hands today. I mean, you can if you choose. As our tummies are tight, nice and tight at our navel here. Keeping that spinal cord nice and elongated here. Backs are straight. Shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. As our chin is relaxed, our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Noticing how that breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Gaze in our eyes, stay under closing our eyes. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.